Okay, we're testing one. Maria Provenzano and today I am going to show you how to paint a table. Now I know you're probably thinking why do you need to show me how to paint a table? Well I had this table that we got as a gift my husband and I and it's an outdoor table that basically we used it all the time but it started to the outside of it started to chip away but the bones of it seem to still be really well put together so i wanted to use it i wanted to instead of throwing it away i wanted to put it somewhere that we could actually use it and have it be really pretty so i actually went to home depot and just kind of picked the brains of the people who worked there to see what i should do and they recommend that you sand the table first and i was thinking i was going to have to get this big sand sander i think you know that you see people do for lots of construction work and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna buy one of those things. They're like, no, you can just buy a, a sandpaper. So um, I bought sandpaper and then the, uh, the paint that they recommended is called Marquee uh, by Bear. And I was going for a really fun picnic kind of look, picnic table kind of look. So that's why I chose the red. So that was, and they recommended that for outdoors. So I will go ahead and put a link below with the information for that but it helps to take whatever piece you're trying to paint to home depot i actually took one of the chairs with me and uh because i actually did a trip there without anything and they're like well we have no idea really what to recommend so i actually came home and then went back another day with one of the chairs and so they looked at it and told me that what i needed so that was uh, a helpful <laughs> a helpful thing for me too and so, um, yeah, so I got started. You definitely want to work in an outdoor space because it's a mess, especially the sanding. So I just, uh, I use sandpaper and I will put below what uh, sandpaper I used as well. I'll put a link below and just basically sand it down the whole thing. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of my process. So I took this, the chair first, just to kind of see and just that's all I did. I mean, I mean, I'm literally just scrubbing it with the sandpaper to get all the excess stuff off and then went to the table. So with the uh, sanding process, what I found was a little tricky was that it, there were some areas of the table and chairs that would come off really easy and there were other areas that would barely come off. So I just sanded what could come off. When I was done sanding, I used uh, a broom just to get all of the little small pieces off. Uh, and I let it set outside overnight just to let the wind and everything blow the excess uh, sand, everything that I sanded off away. Now, the painting process wasn't too difficult. The first coat, uh, kind of like when you paint your nails, is not the best. So I got a little, I was a little worried, but once I did the second coat, everything looked much, much nicer. I did, however, find that the areas that I sanded did look much nicer and take the paint much nicer than the areas that I didn't. So if you really can sand off as much as possible, that's what I recommend. The areas that didn't sand as well, they took it all right, but it just, it wanted to, it just didn't look as, as smooth as what some of the nicely sanded areas looked like. And so then I just went in and painted everything. Now this is really um, a labor of love because you really have to be patient. For me, at least that's how I felt. This table in particular had lots of little nooks and crannies that I really had to get into. And I learned that doing really thin layers is actually much better for the process instead of trying to just slap on a lot of paint because it drips and then it leaves the, the um, drip marks all over. So you, I kept going back and using the paintbrush to get rid of those. So thin layers of paint. Even if you have to go back and do a third uh, coat, then I recommend, I recommend that. And sometimes you have to. And so then I just followed up with the table and the chairs and just painted them. Uh, I just got a really inexpensive brush from Home Depot that I used. And the paint itself is about $20, I want to say. Um, so obviously it's going to depend on how much you're painting, how big your table is. But it turned out to be really pretty. I was so excited. Now we have it out 
on our patio and we're able to use it and it's bright and it's fun and you know because you can paint these things i was i don't get nervous about my son playing on it and you know even if he gets crayons or markers or anything on it it's nice to know that it's always something you can paint over so that is why i decided to do a video about how to paint a table i know it seems i know it seems like the most simple thing to do, but there were really some little hiccups along the way that I wanted to share. So if you do have a table that you either have in storage or that you just cringe when you look at it, that you just never use, it's a waste of money. And so you're better off spending just a little amount on paint than buying a whole new table. So this is something definitely to try out. And if you do, I wanna hear about it. I wanna see pictures. Um, you can tag me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have all of the information. I will put it all below, all my links below. And uh, please subscribe. And there will be lots more videos coming. And if you have any requests for videos, please feel free to write it in the comments below and like this video. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.